Hello everyone, I'm Chris Gregory from Heartland Horseshoe School here in Lamar, Missouri. Um, I've been shoeing for a long time and teaching for a long time. And I've been wearing an apron like this since 1997. I had a, a more or less with a pair of chinks that turned into an apron and it kind of became my, my style of aprons. Um, one thing I don't like when I travel is using aprons that I got to buckle on the side or twist around. So I really like an apron I can buckle in the front. So these aprons are made with a buckle in the back. You set it pretty much one time and then you buckle it in the front. So when you buckle it in the front, you determine how much you want the legs to come around by how, how, how much distance you have here. So the more distance you have, the further the legs will be out. And then obviously if you get them tighter, then the, the more the legs will come around. When I set up my leg straps, there's two straps, two hooks, and I want my top one to be quite tight. So basically just my flat hand will fit behind it comfortably. And my bottom one will be quite a bit looser and it would be my fist will fit behind it comfortably. So that way I don't get a foot in there and, and get in a wreck. All right, so this is Pat and Linda, Ray and Abby. They've been with the school for a while. All right, and they wear the same kind of apron. Tell us about your aprons. Yeah. So mine was brand new when I went to class in 22. And as you can tell, it still looks brand new. <laughs> it's holding up good. Oh, yes. And how many hours a day do you think you wear that thing? Oh, I don't know. Many. Many. Should be sleeping in it. <laughs> <laughs> so I do my, uh, my leg straps just a little bit different. I like to clip my bottom all the way up to my uh, top clip. The reason being is that when I come around, <clears throat> I can clip it just to the top one. So I find it a little bit easier, faster to get my apron on personally. And when you're crouched down and handing a lot of tools, I like it to not have any interference down lower on my leg. And do you do the same, Linda? I do. I wear mine the same. But it's comfy for me. All right. Excellent. Yeah, the, the top strap is really high, but that's a, a very good safety thing because the lower they get, the better chance you have a horse to get a hoof in it. How's it feel? Good. Good? All right. Well, I've got some nice aprons. Good to have help to get that top strap just right. This is basically the leather cutout area um, where Kelly makes all the aprons and I make all the sharpening kits. And then we have a Cobra 4 sewing machine. You can see she's working on it right here. Hi, thanks for your orders. All right. So she's making, uh, this one's got a tool belt. Um, she's kind of changed the design up just a little bit. She's been putting the uh, ambles on the pockets or sometimes horseshoe. And she's making a pair of mashed aprons for a couple of journeymen. They are a father-son team, both Heartland graduates. Cal and Clayton Williams, congratulations. Don't look so surprised. This video won't come out. Okay. <laughs> you can't until they get there. It's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a gift from uh, one of their neighbors and customers. And the really handy thing about these aprons is these loops. And so whether you got your nippers or you go to the horse with a with a shoe, you're gonna nail it on. It makes things uh, it, it gives you a hands-free place to hold tools. And if you're staying around, you can't get to your pockets. Probably oh, nice to nail have a, a place to put your hands. All right, so we've designed these aprons so that the knives will not be in the way. Linda's got one with the two knives in it for the two pockets. All right, brand new aprons being broken. And students being broken as well. <laughs> How's your apron feel? Good. I like it. Good. I feel bad for working in it. <laughs> so Kelly's the apron maker, and you can tell she's using a borrowed apron. <laughs> the mechanic's car never runs, and the horse room horse is never done. <laughs> and then, yep, now find that spot. You gotta have 
30 days.